time for my monthly favorites for March. So starting off, I'm going to show you my favorite body spray and lotion that I have been liking. It's from Aloha Pink. You can buy this at Victoria's Secret or Bath & Body Works. I bought mine at Bath & Body Works. Um, and it's in the scent Wild and Breezy. And the packaging is so cute. I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell, but it has palm trees in the back and it's turquoise blue. And it smells so nice and refreshing. This is my favorite. They had another one, which is um, in a pink container. And that one smells more like coconuts. I also have the lotion to it, and the packaging is so cute. I love the packaging. It reminds me of like a 70s postcard. It's that cute. Okay, so moving on, let's start off with, um, okay, this. It's Orly Quick Dry Shine Drops, and this really does make your nail polish dry really, really quick. And um, surprisingly, it worked. At first, I didn't think it was going to work. But it actually does. I put two drops on each nail and it works like a charm. So that is what the bottle looks like. Alright, next I'll save my lip products. I have been really liking these L'Oreal Paris Hip High Intensity Pigments Jelly Balm. <laughs> and this one is in the color Delectable. Delectable, Delectable. Um, and it's a red color. And... I really like the way um, these products smell. They smell like cotton candy and really sweet. This next one is in the color Ripe. And it's an orangey color. It's a really nice, pretty color for spring. And I've been wearing a lot out of this one. It's in Plush. It's a light baby pink. So they are really nice. They're not that sticky on your lips. They feel really nice and smooth once you put them on, which I really like. Next is the Soft Matte Lip Cream from NYX. I have it on right now. I just filmed the tutorial. That should have been up before this video, I would think, or after. I'm not sure. But um, I really do like this lip gloss. Um, it feels really smooth, like velvet on your lips. And it comes up matte. So it's not shiny. It looks matte on your lips. But it stays on your lips for such a long time. It's really nice. Next, I have my MAC Sheen Supreme Lipstick and Behave Yourself. And these recently came out. They have a lot of colors to choose from. I picked the light baby pink color. And this color is so gorgeous. And it smells... Oh, got some on my nose. And it smells like vanilla. I love MAC lipsticks because they always smell so good like candy. And um, you don't even need to wear a lip gloss with this lipstick because... It has like a shiny effect once you put it on, which is really neat. Next, I have a Buxom Lash Liner. And this is in the color Blue Velvet. And it's a dark, deep blue. And it has really pretty light blue sparkles in it. And I think this is really nice for your top lash line if you're wearing just a regular, everyday, natural eyeshadow look. Next is my All May Intense Eye Color Eyeliner. And this is in the color Brown Topaz. This is supposed to be for blue eyes. It's supposed to enhance the color of your eyes, make it more intense. But I really do like this bronzy color. It's basically the same color as the packaging. It's kind of like a bronzy gold. And it also has a sharpener at the end of it. So that is so cool and convenient. <laughs> so you get a lot of product in this too. Do-do-do. And it's like Pinocchio's nose look. I'm a real boy. I'm a real boy. <laughs> but I really do like this eyeliner. It's really nice. Stays on my waterline all day. So that's what I look for in an eyeliner. If it stays put all day, then it's an AMI book. Next is my concealer. I have been raving about this concealer since the day that I bought it. And, um... I think it's about time for me to buy a new one because I seriously use so much of this and I'm trying to get every last drop out of it. So if you guys know how to get every last drop out of this, let me know. Like, do you soak it in a hot bowl of water or something? Does it go to the bottom or the top or I don't even know. But um, this concealer is really nice. It's the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and my color is NW15. Um... Yep. Next are primers. I have been wearing primers um, 
just on my eye with some mascara, maybe this blue eyeliner, but I haven't really been playing around with eyeshadows that often. So I bought these eyeshadow primer potions, two different colors. I bought the Sin color, and I also bought Greed. Now Sin is a more, I would say, bronze, beige, shimmer color, and Greed is more of a gold shimmer color. But they are so gorgeous just on your lid um, by itself. You really don't even need eyeshadow on top of them because it gives a really pretty shimmer effect on your lid. And I really enjoy that. So I have been using these two a lot. Next, I have been using these eyeshadows. When I feel like putting on some eyeshadows, I've been reaching out for this palette an awful lot. This is the Urban Decay palette. I really like the packaging. It's so cute with all the animals. It says, we don't do animal testing. How could anyone? Then it has all the animals. Same with this side. It has really nice, pretty colors in here. Twice baked, smug, half baked, gunmetal, URB, and M-I-N-S, I believe that says. I'm not too sure, but... Um, this is a really pretty teal color with gold sparkles. We have a nice lime green color with gold sparkles. We have a dark silver with some silver sparkles. A, a gold color. Everybody knows what half-baked looks like. It's just a beautiful gold color. It looks like you have gold on your eyes. Um, Smog is a really nice taupey light brown. And then Twice Baked is a really nice deep dark brown with some gold shimmer in it. So I really do like this palette. It also came with a mini primer potion in Sin. And it also came with a black eyeliner, I believe. Um, but that's somewhere else right now. But I really do like this palette. And I love the packaging. Love the packaging for Urban Decay products. They're so nice. Next is the Bella Bamba Blush by Benefit. Now, hold on. Would you just look at it? Just look at it. Would you Would you just look at it? <laughs> Love that video. All right. So it has a cute little mirror, and you see me. Woohoo! Okay. And then it also has a brush. And surprisingly, I really really like this brush that it comes with. Um, I heard a lot of mixed reviews about the brush, saying that it's scratchy and whatever. But I think it's really, really soft. It's like I use the brush with the blush. Brush with the blush. I use this brush with the blush. Um, and then it's a gorgeous, gorgeous pink coral color. And it has gold shimmer in it. I'm not sure if the lighting is picking up on the shimmer. But it's so pretty. I love this blush so much. It's gorgeous. Simply gorgeous. Simply gorgeous. But this blush was a lot of money. It was like seriously like $30. It was pretty expensive for a blush I must say. But hopefully it will last me a long time because it's really pigmented. And you really don't need a lot on your brush. Speaking of brushes, I got a couple new MAC brushes. And I've been liking them so I'm just going to show you them real quick. Um, for blush, I've been using my 129 blush brush. And this puts on blush like a dream. You just need one little swipe. It's good to go. Um, MAC 129. Um, I also picked up the MAC 252. This is a really nice flat shader brush. And picks up color really nice. It's a nice dense brush. But it's still soft at the same time. I love this brush. Love it. And for um, highlight colors, it really does pack on the highlight color really nice. And it's a really nice brush. Next is the um, MAC 224. And I don't know how I ever lived without this brush. It makes blending so easy. And it's so soft. So soft. I have my Sigma brushes. And this is seriously so much softer than my Sigma. My Sigma one is a little tiny bit scratchy when I go back and forth. But this brush is so, so soft. I love it. So this is the MAC 224. Alright, so that's about all my products. It seemed like a lot, and I'm getting out of breath. Whew. Okay, 
So I will talk to everybody in my next video. I hope that everybody has a fabulous day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.